Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, I'm going to get into a good one today. So John Ergashev and Julian Smith, which promises to be a firefight, man. It's going to be a, a fun fight as long as it lasts, um, which might be a tip-off to how I view the over-under. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money, how to bring down the house. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. The Patreon, it's also in that little ticket below, gets you the, the lock of the week. It gets you uh, the updated props. It gets you ask the bookie anything. It gets you all the best gambling, uh, boxing gambling advice and boxing gambling pick that there are. So join the Patreon. It's just $5 a month. It makes you money. Uh, like This doesn't have the props out on it yet. We're going to get you the props when they come out closest to fight day. Uh, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into today's show. Ergashev, um, sorry about that, came up short with Super Matias in his world title bid. Good ring generalship, good movement. Like his jab, he sticks, peppers out the jab. Decent speed, good combination, good clean punches, uh, good combination punches. He throws crisp, clean combos, straight shots, uses his height and reach. He maintains and measures distance extremely well, really sharp and accurate from the outside. His strength is being on the outside, jabbing and throwing combinations from, from long distance. Excellent sniper from out there. Good good power. But I don't think it's his, his knockout ratio is phenomenal. It's good power. I, I don't think it's earth-shattering power, which kind of – his knockout ratio was he got 21 knockout – what has he got? He's got 21 knockouts, I think. I want to say 24 fights. Is that right? 24 wins. He's got 21 knockouts. Yeah, 21 knockouts in 24 fights. So it, that suggests his power is spectacular. I think it's good. I, I think it's not spectacular. Not a bunch of lateral movement. I, I, I don't – it's live, it's in, out, vertical movement, not a lot of hard, you know, not a lot of lateral movement. He's not super difficult to hit. He gets a little sloppy. He, he's not a difficult guy to time. He's not a difficult guy to hit, but he's got a really, really good straight left hand. He's a good athlete, he, but he leaves himself open to be countered. And he gets a little sloppy. He's straight up and down, and, you know, he's straight up and down fighter, and he throws straight shots, but he'll drop his hands, uh, particularly his left hand. He'll fire, and then he'll keep it down by his waist. He's not a difficult guy to counter, but he's fairly quick, and he's got twitchy, good reflexes. Like, he's a better athlete than you might suspect, uh, but still, heads on the line quite a bit. And the, the biggest flaw with him is he's sloppy and easy to hit and easy to counter. And Julian Smith is a puncher. Julian Smith, you know, we really have just seen the, the one fight on him. There's not a ton of tape on him. But with Arrested Velasquez, you can see what he is, and he's a real hitter. He's got real power, and he's got just five knockouts in his eight wins, so he's a lot less experienced. Uh, but he's got the upset victory over Arrested Velasquez, who's also kind of untested, um, not nearly as tested as Ergashev at, at the world level, at the professional level. Uses his jab to create and maintain distance as well. This fight's going to be take, taking place in the center of the ring at range. Uses his jab, uh, punches with his opponent, and he's got a dynamite right hand. The, the right hand is dynamite. The overhand right, that's his money shot. That's basically what he is. He's going to look to set that shot up. If he can land it, he can have some success. If he can't land it clean, he's going to have a really rough night. He'll probably get stopped himself. Um, uses his jab and sets up the right hand. He's a little sloppy as well. Both these guys get hit a lot and throw big shots. Both guys commit to their shots. Both guys throw really hard shots. It's got the makings of a fun fight. His foot works a little sloppy. He's falling off uh, in front of it. He's, he's falling over his front foot at times. He's in front of you. He likes to exchange. This is going to be a firefight. I, I don't see this going any other way. He's not going to become a mover. Uh, Ergoshev's not going to start developing a lot of lateral movement. It, 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 it's just going to be a head-on collision. I, I really feel that way. He's big and strong for the division. 
uh, Julius Smith. Julius Smith is a big 140. He's, he's got little legs, a little bit like Wilder. His upper body is big and strong. He, he looks heavy for the division. He's making it. Um, and he, I, I hate using cliches, right? But if you, if you look at his eyes, he's focused like a laser offensively. He's got like tunnel vision offensively. And it's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because, like I said, he's in front of you, his head's on the line, and he's so focused on what he's going to do offensively, he's not really moving. If he can get you, you're in trouble. But you, he could also quite easily be had. Um, he's, I guess he's easy to predict. He's easy to counter. He, he's predictable. Not much lateral movement, but he's got – he's straight in, straight out as well. And it's going to be a head-on collision. Ergashev's a better athlete. Ergashev is the better boxer. He does more things well. I, Ergashev wins this fight, but I think it's really, really fun while it lasts. Let's take a look at the odds. Uh, I think the odds are a little wide, but I think Ergashev definitely wins. He's at minus 800. I do think it should be closer than that. I also like this fight not to go the distance. So when those props come out, I want to take a look at that. I, I wouldn't do any more than a, a one and a half times bet on this. And a $150 bet is only going to make it 1875. So you may or may not think that's what I'm betting on. Again, I think it's it's fairly certain that Ergashev wins this fight. Uh, I think I I don't think that's difficult at all. Our Ergashev is the better fighter. He's the more complete fighter. He's the more skilled fighter. He's the faster fighter, the better combination puncher. Uh, but you know, Jones is always going to have a puncher's chance. He, he can hit, and he knows how to set up the right hand. So it's not just swinging wild, hoping for the best. There's, there's some skills behind Julian Smith. I just think Ergashev is a whole another level. So factor that in. I like Ergashev. I really like this uh, as part of a parlay. And I would really like to see, like to bet on the fight not going the distance. Someone is getting clocked in this fight. My guess is it's Julian Smith, and I think that happens in the middle rounds. So let me know what you guys think. Let me leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money uh, betting on the sport of boxing. It is July 23rd, uh, 2024. Remember to smash the like button on the way out. Also join the Patreon uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.